I'd like to show you how to digitize lines in QGIS 3 and also introduce the concept of snapping. So here we have a set of roads that are already existing and a new set of roads, skid trails really, that I want to digitize. I'll only do a portion of it, but it'll get the point across. So first we have to create a new data layer, as we've shown before, and I'm going to make that my skids. And I'm going to make sure it's a line data layer and has that target coordinate system I talked about that's set to the project coordinate system. I'm going to then open that for editing. And you notice then that I get this line tool. In the previous video, we had a polygon tool. So I can go ahead and digitize portions of this. Let's do this little road. So you see, I'll just click along and I'll add little segments. I'm doing this fairly coarsely and come across to here. Now, if I want to stop a line segment, I'll right click and enter a value for the line segment as before. Well, what if I want to digitize along coming down a line segment here? I can do that. I'll just do this short segment. And you'll notice if I zoom in that I don't have the two line segments meeting here. They don't quite touch each other. There's a gap. And I could zoom in and make sure they touch, but then I might have an overlap or just an under gap. And so an overlap wouldn't be good or an underlap wouldn't be good. For this, we use the concept of snapping. Snapping makes the ends of lines sticky, either to vertices or to line segments or to both. The snapping tools are here along the bottom. So first I enable snapping and I set snapping to, in this case, all layers. I could set it to just the active layer, which is the layer that I'm digitizing, or to all layers. I'm going to want to snap to the primary roads I showed, so I'll set it to all layers. Then I can set a snapping distance. And it's in the units, typically, default of the coordinate system, but I can change the units if I want to pixels. So I'm going to keep it at units because it makes sense to me. Now here I'm going to set the snapping moderately at something like three meters. So now if I go to digitize again, so I'll go to digitize a line. I'm just going to do a random one out here so you can see. As I'm digitizing in, that end gets pulled to the point right to the edge. And then my next click makes sure that it joins. So if I end, I now enforce connection in my network. This is important when I'm doing some kinds of polygon digitizing, so if I'm coming around edge to edge, and certainly when I'm doing most of my network digitizing, and I want there to be a network. Snapping also works when I have the digitizing vertex tool set on, so I can click on a uh, vertex to select it, and then as I pull it close, it snaps. So this old line then works and snaps, and I'm done there. So I've modified that. Um, I can basically select things to delete. So here if I get my selection tool and select this line segment, then I can go ahead and delete that and get rid of that example. So I can use snapping to make sure things connect. What if when I'm digitizing, I find there's an error and I've gone on a lot and I don't want to use this back button to get rid of it? Well, instead of deleting all the intervening digitizing, suppose it had a bunch of lines, I can, again, vertex edit. So I'll do the vertex edit tool. And you see, as I hold it over a line, it highlights various of the nodes or line segments. So if I click on a node, it will turn that node that purple color, and then I can drag it to a location. And the problem is if snapping is set, to a large amount, I can't move it less than that snapping distance. It just snaps back to the existing node. So I may have to reduce my snapping, and then it'll allow me to move this node. I can also, if I want, click intermediately. So I can click here in between, and it adds a node. You see there's a new node here where there wasn't one. And then when I click to end, it puts that node in a location. Again, I can click to select and then go ahead and move. And if I want, I can click in an intermediate position to add a node and then click to set. So that's in a nutshell how to digitize new lines, how to set snapping to help you digitize new lines, and how to edit the vertices as you're going.